Topic our news this half hour, an alarming uptick in anti-Semitism hate crimes. Some of the highest number of incidents were reported right here in Michigan. The spike is in part related to the Hamas Israel war. We thank you for staying with us here tonight. I'm Dave Llewellyn. And I'm Carolyn Clifford. 7 Action News reporter Faraz Javed spoke to a Jewish community leader about what is fueling this hate and how to defeat it. After working in several states, Rabbi Asher Lupatin moved to Michigan around three and a half years ago with his wife and four kids. I've just found Detroit a really amazing place with warm people. Interacting with the broader community is not only Rabbi Asher's job, but also his passion. I love visiting churches and mosques and going to iftars. But over the years, the peace-loving rabbi has also tasted hatred, from anti-Semitic slurs to having his kippah ripped off. I'm sad because I think when people hate each other, it's a lost opportunity of potentially good people coming together. But then you hear an audit report from ADL coming out where you see and anti-Semitism more than doubled. How does that make you feel? It's a bit of a downer, I'd say, and it's a little scary. Uh, but when I think that there is hatred out there, I think of the Muslim community supporting me and having my back and the African-American community and the Hindu community and Chaldean communities, all these wonderful communities. I think of the allies that I have. In Michigan, the ADL counted 112 anti-Semitic incidents. That's up nearly 120% from 51 incidents reported in 2020. Hate is becoming commonized and becoming just the norm. We cannot ever let hate be the norm. Then we lose battle. What's driving this hate over here? Social media. It's, it's anonymous, you can post things, you can call like-minded people to you. I think the pandemic weighed into it. There are under 90,000 Jews living and working across Michigan, and Carolyn fears anti-Semitism is still underreported. How do we defeat hate? We have to let the people that hate know that their hatred will not win, that our love and our desire for relationships is more powerful than the hatred. Now, Carolyn and Rabbi Asher say that reporting anti-Semitism is important as that data will help guide policies to fight hate. Reporting from Southfield, I'm Faraz Javid, 7 Action News.